Hello. We're at the airport together. He's going to. Uh, and it's at Belfast, that's where you're going, right? <laughs> that's where I'm, I'm going. going to the other one, Dublin. <laughs> We're both going to Ireland and we both ended up in the same terminal at the same airport the on the same day. I actually went to the, the here. <laughs> I went to the wrong terminal and then <laughs> ended up here, so I have made it. But you're going now, bye. Bye, she's buying me coffee. Bye. I am buying you coffee. Bye, love you. We're on the plane. I say like man, not to look at myself. But yeah, you could, yeah, that. you gotta look in. The okay. difference is this. The connection is real. The intimacy. It's like I'm watching in your eyes. Oliver's just met my brother for the first time. I've just followed him on, on uh, Did you actually give him Instagram a and, and I liked it, so if that's guys, friendship, if, I don't know what it is. Um, go on, like and comment on his stuff and follow him as well because I'm sure he needs the followers. Yeah, he definitely does. Belfast. You've never been, have you? I'm eating, so I want to walk out of shop. <laughs> I just very impulsively bought myself a scarf. Where the Titanic was built. Yes. And where George Best was born. Famous for the Long Meadow Cider. <laughs> I'm really quite thrilled with this scarf, Oliver. An expensive quite, scarf. I think it's quite impulsive for you. It was. It? Under 20 pounds. Under 20 quid. Over 10. Yeah. You're Either not, way, I'm thrilled. You're not even filming. Like, this segment is just for you to look at yourself with the scarf. Yeah, check just, yourself out. Just making sure it looks it looks worth the money that I just spent on it. See, I've got a Hufflepuff scarf. But I said, the thing is a Hufflepuff scarf, it's very like, bam, because it's like black and yellow. Black like, and yellow, yeah. The colours like, are quite specific. Like two-legged bees walking around. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as like... Subtle as a Slytherin scarf that she's wearing. Excuse me, I need to turn the camera off to give him a talking to. Bye, Oliver. Bye. <laughs> so rude. Through here. Ah, cool. Hi. have just gotten from the signing my lipstick is super super patchy so please ignore that um but that was great that was so nice i really enjoyed that i'm now um home with bagfuls of presents which i am about to go through and usually i do like a little live stream but i'm thinking do i just film it i don't think my camera has enough battery no i'm gonna I'm gonna do a live stream, I'm gonna do a live stream. And then at 7.30, so in an hour and a half, I'm meeting up with Mr. Oliver Ormson for dinner, which would be nice. Ollie didn't realise I'm really good at flipping beer mats and catching them. He kept not being able to do it, which meant he had to buy the next round of drinks. So he is currently... So I was just saying, you're, um, you're buying me a drink because you're crap at flipping beer mats, aren't you? Right. So last night, I basically just came home into this wonderful flat, by the way. Really amazing, like, penthouse flat where seven of us, seven of us are staying. And I came home from having dinner and drinks with Oliver Ormson, and then I had the best lush bath. Last night, I used the Karma Bubble Bar, which is my favourite, maybe of all the lush products. Well, of all the lush bubble bars and uh, bath bombs, the Karma Bubble Bar. Ah, oh. but yesterday, I bought myself some Lush Perfume, which is their Karma scent, which I think is their like staple store smell. When I was in the shop, I almost bought another one called I'm Home. And I stood there for a good few minutes, like umming and ahhing which one I was gonna get. And I decided just to get the scent that I'm familiar with, because I used to have the solid perfume of Karma. 
then when I came home from my signing and I was going through presents, someone had bought me the solid perfume version of I'm Home. Out of all the scents that someone could have got me from Lush, they got me the one that I almost bought before my signing yesterday. How weird is that? I need to go get my cap because he's like two minutes away. Let's go. Today is not a day off, today is get in day. It's get in day at the theatre, uh, which means, what's the time? It's 12 o'clock, so I need to be in at about half past one. So I've got a little bit of time for breakfast at Maggie May's Belfast Cafe. Should be good. <laughs> like Peter Andre today. You do look like Peter Andre today. Let's go Had a warm up and now I went back to my dressing room just to get changed quickly because I was feeling a little bit gross in what I was wearing. Where am I going? Where am I? This floor, no dressing rooms, down to stage left. Stage left is what I want. This theatre is really quite lovely. Oh, I got my jumper on the right way. Yes, I have. Good, good. Lots of people were asking me where this jumper's from, by the way. It's from Zara. I'm a little bit in love with it. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> To me, I was like, "What are you doing?" I love it. Why do you do that? Ross, are you home? I know. What do you want? Hello. Hello to you, Dick. Hello, love. We're talking Hello, darling. We're talking about winning. We are talking about winning. Women. Women. Yeah. Are we? Yes. We're talking about women. Apparently. All nice, I hope. Delightful. Is that we're inside a jewelry box? Yeah. Oliver, what does a monkey do? <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so happy. That's so cool. <laughs> Samantha Womack, everyone. Samantha Womack. <laughs> Move toward the darkness. Move toward the darkness. Move toward the darkness.
A girl called Lily has sent me a lovely letter and a grow your own unicorn. Now I have two sinks in my bathroom and my dressing room. Oh God. So one of them is going to be the unicorn sink. Here is said unicorn. And then I'm going to just pop that in there. It will grow within two hours and will be full size in 72 hours. When removed from water, it will shrink back to its original size. So you can grow your unicorn again and again. Welcome to the interval, doo-da, doo-da. A couple of weeks ago, I did an interview for uh, the Theatre Hub. And today, I mean, I shouldn't have cut it before I filmed. They sent me a big box of cookie lollipops, which have been demolished by the rest of the cast. But they also gave me this giant Millie's cookie that said, you're a star, thank you, TTH, which stands for the Theatre Hub, um, which I've just cut up so that me and the cast can have it. How exciting is that? But now, it's time to check on the unicorn. To see, oh, that door really swings open. Okay, it's a little bit bigger than it was. I'm not, I'm not impressed at the moment though. Oh, it's slimy. Oh, I don't like the feel of it. Okay, all right, well, I've got to leave it there for 72 hours, so. I'm just impatient. I just want to see a giant unicorn. What if it turns into like a real unicorn? What if like I come in tomorrow and I'm just like here? <laughs> That's assuming that unicorns make the same noises as horses. They're in the same family, right? It is now the end of the day. I'm at my digs and Oliver is at home at his digs. I don't actually know where his digs are, but we are both playing Catan. I don't know if you can see that. We downloaded the Catan app and we've become a little bit obsessed with it. So every now and again, we are we play Catan. Lucas and Wednesday, really rock and roll. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next week. Bye.